what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to the top 5 most overpowered broken guns in Call of Duty Warzone Pacific right now. You're going to want to make sure that you're using these in your loadouts before they get nerfed because they are 100% getting changed in the very near future. If you are new around here as well, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future Warzone videos and I promise you'll get better at Warzone. So first up, we have the Automaton, or what should be better known as the Laser Beam of Warzone Pacific. And one thing with all these broken, overpowered guns in this video, I will also make sure to give you the best class setup for them so you know exactly what you should be using when you hop into Warzone for yourself. Because this thing is a straight up laser beam. It does not move whatsoever. You can give it to anyone. You don't even need to hold the right stick really and it will shoot directly straight, which makes it so easy to use and, comp and also combine that with the super fast fire rate, which is around 833 rounds per minute, it gives you a big margin for error. So if you miss one or two shots, it's not as big of a deal compared to if you're using the BAR, for example, which has a much slower rate of fire. This thing, the spray and pray, combine that with the 75 round mag, you don't have to worry about your like ammo co like cons conservation. You don't have to be like, oh, I can't, I can't really engage this fight from here because I might run out of ammo and then they're gonna push me. Nope, don't worry. You see someone start spraying, you know, even if they're like behind a bunch of trees and foliage. And trust me, in Pacific and Caldera, there is a, a lot of trees and foliage that people could be hiding behind. You could just kind of like spray until you get the hit marker and then take them out. I do that a lot with this thing. Uh, but honestly, one of my favorite guns. I know it's become one of the Call of Duty community's favorite within the Vanguard multiplayer and I think that's going to be the exact same in Warzone Pacific and right now is overpowered it's got a very very fast time to kill one of the best mid to long range assault rifles just because of how accurate it is as a lot of the other guns have bloom they have a lot of visual bounce this the, this thing just doesn't have that. But let me go ahead and give you the class setup, the automaton that you're going to want to be using. So first of all, you want to go for the MX silencer as the muzzle. I use that over the Mercury because I don't want to penalize my damage range as this is my mid to long range weapon. That MX silencer, small penalty to your aim, aim down sight. Not that big of a deal. The barrel, you want to go for the Anastasia sniper. The optic I use is the slate 3.25 times custom. The stock is the Zack skeletal perk tight grip. Um, that's just going make it a laser as you're holding down that trigger fully loaded so you get tons of ammo every time you go to your loadout which is amazing stipple grip tape is going to make your initial firing a little bit more accurate so you're going to be able to snap onto an opponent and hit those first shots also kind of it's from my experience seems to negate the bloom effect that you sometimes get with some of the other assault rifles in the game the mag is the 75 round Secure a mag. Now there is actually not that much of a difference between the 45 and the 75. So go for the 75, hold down that trigger and enjoy yourself. Uh, lengthened, I just go for it. The bullet velocity is huge. It just makes it a lot easier to kind of hit scan your opponents at those further distances. Um, that bullet velocity really does help. And then you want the hand stop and that is the class setup. So our second most overpowered broken gun in Call of Duty Warzone Pacific right now are the top break pistols. Now, I think I should just say, it's the Snake Shots Reborn. These things are so broken and so overpowered for a couple of reasons. First of all, right, they kill incredibly quickly. I mean, these are going to be at close range SMGs, shotguns, whatever it is that someone else has in their hands at close range. I will bet on these to come out on top. And the second thing about them is it allows you to only really need one loadout because you can go for a primary weapon, right? As like the automaton as your mid to long range. And then you have the top break akimbo pistols as your secondary and you've got ghosts. And with Pacific right now, everyone is spamming UAVs because they can't buy loadouts right off the rip. Getting ghost is a huge lifesaver. I've never seen so many UAVs being called, especially as a load of contracts now also call in UAVs um, for completing them. Like if you complete the top secret contract, a UAV gets called in. So have these, get go straight off the rip and you are absolutely sailing. They uh, um, are some of my favorites right now. They beat everything up close. Here is the class setup that you want for them. 
So for the top brake pistols, you want the M1929 silencer, so you stay off radar. You then want the Wilkie W4 stub. That's just going to increase your damage range, bullet penetration, and bullet velocity. You might get worried because it's like, oh, the hip fire actually is getting worse. However, the uh, M15 shot shell ammo um, actually negates that. Doesn't make it a big deal at all. Uh, the optic at the bottom here actually makes your gun more accurate. So uh, kind of counters that. Normally, I'll just not even bother having a scope on, but is actually worth it uh, in in van with with Vanguard weapons. Perk akimbo, perk two quick. The rear grip is the pine tar for better hip fire. The magazine is the Russian short because that increases the damage of these things. Uh, Fifteen shot shell and then the hair trigger to finish it off because it increases everything you need uh, with these akimbo pistols and enjoy the brokenness. So our next broken gun in Warzone Pacific right now is the assault rifle that all the pro players are in love with, the NZ41. And I've been using this on stream all day today and it packs a punch. Now, don't get me wrong. It is not as accurate as the Automaton that we checked out earlier. It has got a little bit more recoil and kick and it's probably a higher skill curve weapon compared to the Automaton. However, it has got a very, very fast time to kill. It kind of reminds me of being the Vanguard Amax or like the kind of, you know, the Vanguard C58 or EM2. Very hard hitting, slower fire rate of around 645 rounds per minute with the build that I'm going to give you. Um, but it is also very good at long range. You just have to make sure that you're burst firing it because a lot of the perks and kind of like attachments it use give you that kind of initial fire and recoil. So it's like a laser beam and then it starts like kicking all over the place. Something to keep in mind if you're going to go for this, it is broken right now, probably one of the best assault rifles. There is a reason that all the pro players are kind of leaning towards it because it's going to win you those gunfights up close or when someone's just like peeking out the window. Because if you get those upper chest, neck and like kind of headshots, people just disappear. They just get deleted from the Pacific. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and give you the best class setup for it. I love this thing. Had a lot of fun with it. Check it out. So this is the best setup for the NZ41. You want that MX silencer. You then want the Orb Weaver 360 millimeter BC barrel, the uh, G16 2.5 times optic. You can mix this up, of course, if you want to go for the 3.25 or you found another optic that suits you best, go for it. But I was just using the G16 today. The stock is the LOR reinforced. You then want brace. Uh, once again, uh, it just helps you with that initial firing recoil so you can kind of snap on and like I said earlier, right? You need to burst fire this gun uh, or it starts flying all over the place. So a little bit more skill to use. Fully loaded, so you've got all the ammo. Rubber grip, just to give you a bit more recoil control. Uh, 6.5 millimeter, 45 round mag. Then you want the lengthened ammo once again. And then the carver foregrip, just for a bit more recoil control. Uh, but that is the setup that every pro is loving right now. Our next gun is the broken SMG of the game right now, and it is the PPSH. I actually called this in my very first Vanguard weapon video because the time to kill is obscene. It beats the OTS, it beats the Cold War MP5, it beats every other SMG in Call of Duty, in Warzone, period. It is so unbelievably good first of all right there is no recoil in this thing i mean it is a laser i'm happily beaming people way further than an smg should do but i have a fire rate of like 950 rounds per minute that hits like a truck i mean it is it's slightly ridiculous i do not know how it has ended up like this but you have like a 71 round mag dream for war zone it means that if you run into a whole squad of three or four players you're like don't worry i got this i got a lot of bullets then the reload's pretty quick as well all the the 10 attachments make it a just like i think this one thing when you combine 10 attachments that will just kind of work really well together it has a very very fast aim down sight time it's got great sprint to fire it hits really hard it is the dream smg that everyone has wanted if you are not using this thing you are missing out massively like and it's one of my favorite guns of the game like i loved it when it was the the black the, the black ops cold war ppsh i loved it rebirth the dance whatever it is this thing is better and it has all the same pro benefits of a huge mag taking out multiple players but enough of me rambling on you've seen the gameplay this is the class setup that you want to have for it so this is the PPSH build that I use. I've got the Mercury silencer on there. Uh, I then have the ZAC 300 millimeter barrel, um, which is what I found works best for me. The ISO 3P 
Optic, which is an iron sight. Honestly, SMGs run iron sights. It just gives you an aim down sight speed increase, which is perfect for for an SMG. Is it just kind of makes it feel a little bit snappier as I hit my microphone. Uh, the stock is then the Zach folding stock. The perk is tight grip, so just continuous fire. So don't, honestly, don't worry about spraying at someone. You've got 71 bullets to go through. Perk too quick. Rear grip is the stippled grip. Then you've got that 71 round mag, this one, right? Don't go for the first one. Don't go for the Nambu. You want the Gorenko rounds. They slap. Uh, ammo is then lengthened. And then the underbarrel is the carver grip, which is kind of my go-to. Recoil control plus hip fire actually. Great for an SMG. And I, I honestly love this thing. And our final broken overpowered gun in Warzone Pacific right now is kind of heartbreaking to me because I was really, really hoping that this would not come across from Vanguard. And yes, the combat shotgun is broken. It is a one shot kill, a one shot kill in the Pacific. It means that if someone is fully plated and run straight at you, if you hit enough of your pellets, they will die in one shot. It is heartbreaking. It is ridiculous. It will make you scream when you die to it. You'll be like, what happened? Did, did I just get hit by a sniper? No, it's a guy in a corner with a shotgun. It's the combat shotgun. It's the people running around in dad's house, like going, oh yeah, I'm so good. Look at me run. And I, there are so many reasons that I don't understand how this even became a thing. And you're going to see it in the class setup as well. But you just hit people with this and they just, they just disappear. I've said it with other guns in this video, but this is just the deleter of Warzone right now. It is the worst most overpowered shotgun we've ever had it makes the um the dragonfire shotgun it, it it just makes it you know it just makes it look pathetic so if you want to this will definitely be getting nerfed raven software someone will have been killed by it at raven software and they'll be like i'm going to work tomorrow and i'm getting rid of that combat shotgun um well we can hope anyway here's the class setup so this is the setup for the combat shotgun. You've got the M97 full choke. You've got the sword off, which is going to increase the damage, which is going to help you get those one-shot kills. Optic, slate reflector. This doesn't really matter. Go with whatever you want to use. The stock is the wire custom. Then you've got vital, which increases torso damage. And because you're firing pellets, a lot of those pellets are hitting the chest and is what gives you those one-shot kills combined with the sword off. Then you've got quick, so you run around faster. Pine tar grip for better hip fire accuracy. Uh, you then got a 10-round drum, so for full squad of four even two squads of four you can kill them all without needing to reload uh it's pretty helpful so you might want to just go for the seven but you know like i always think the more ammo the better packed powder for that increased damage range and then the carver foregrip for better hit fire accuracy and that is it that is the combat shotgun and those are the five broken guns in warzone pacific right now